Welcome back to another Project Rebirth review. Today we're going to take a look at the Sci-Fi Revel Tech Series Number Nine figure sculpted by Takuma Katsuo. This, of course, is the giant robot figure from the TV series Johnny Sacco and His Flying Robot. Here's a look at the front of the box. So here's a view of the front of the box open, and on the left-hand side, there's some really cool scenes from the TV series Johnny Sacco and His Flying Robot. Here is the left side of the box, and here is the right side. Here's the back of the box. Let's get Giant Robot out of the box. And here's a look at the figure and its inner packaging. And you can see it comes with a display stand and multiple sets of alternative hands. All right, so here's the figure out of the box. And just look at how cool this is. This is an awesome looking figure. Let's take a 360 look. Now, Giant Robot, into motion. articulation I will just note that this is a older and expensive action figure so I'm not going to go through full range and actually this figure seems to be somewhat limited um, compared to what its potential is supposed to be and I'm not going to push it so I will show that there's some real nice motion in the head you can look from side to side you can look up nicely down nicely shoulders can extend I don't want to pop these out so See that ring just got loose there. I can bend at the elbow and move around. The problem that I'm having right now is these legs seem to be frozen and they should be able to extend out. It does bend very nicely at the knee and there is supposed to be side to side movement at the feet. And right now mine is stuck with this weird kink in the waist that I can't seem to, uh, to fix. I can move slightly from side to side but not much. And I, again, there should be much greater range of motion that I'm just not getting uh, at the moment, but that's okay. For size comparison, you can see that this figure is actually quite small. Here it is next to a Ultraman figure I bought in Japan during the 90s. Here he is next to a Power Ranger. Here he is next to a Batman Missions figure, next to Gamera by Bandai, and next to a NECA Godzilla figure. All right, so here's my final thoughts with regard to Sci-Fi Revel Tech Series Number no. 9 figure, better known as Giant Robot. For those unfamiliar with Giant Robot, this character came from the Japanese TV series Giant Robo, which ran from 1967 through 1968. This series was later syndicated in the United States in the 1970s under the series name Johnny Sacco and His Flying Robot. The DVDs of this series are available for purchase or rental on Amazon, And if you have Amazon Prime, they've made a best of series into a movie, which is strangely titled Voyage into Space. I highly recommend you give it a watch. Unlike other series of its times, the acting is quite good and the English dubbing is excellent. If you're familiar with my videos, at the end I do my best to objectively weigh the pros and cons and give a recommendation of hell yes or hell no with regard to whether or not you should purchase the figure. In this case, I must confess I have no objectivity with regard to this figure, as I love it for reasons that go far beyond sculpt, paint application, and articulation. Like the series Giant Robo, I was also born in October of 1967. Growing up, my favorite shows were Johnny Sacco and his Flying Robot, Space Giants, Ultraman, Spectre Man, Speed Racer, Batman, and Superman, and I loved Godzilla and Gamera movies. With regard to this figure, the sculpt and paint application are outstanding, and they have great weathering that almost looks like he's been out in the desert. And this figure really, truly, and faithfully captures the essence of Giant Robot from the series. The articulation of my particular figure is limited. It has that weird slant at the waist, and the figure tends to lean backwards. 
My figure doesn't live up to the posability advertised on the box, especially regarding the legs. And perhaps that will loosen up in time, perhaps not. This figure was expensive. Other than the 1977 Mattel Godzilla from the Shogun Warrior series, this is the most valuable figure that I own. It was listed on Amazon over $150, and I was tempted to buy it earlier this year, but I didn't because of the price. But as a surprise birthday gift this year, my family bought it for me, and it was a wonderful surprise. So I'm going to conclude this video a bit differently than I normally do, as I'm going to say something that you've never heard me say before. This is, without a doubt, my favorite action figure. It is a physical representation of a great and fun part of my childhood, and I will treasure it. And for you, if you were a fan of the series, then hell yes, you should purchase it too. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next Project Rebirth review. And so the saga comes to an end. Giant Robot sacrificed himself to save the Earth from the terrible guillotine. But who knows? When Johnny desperately needs him again, perhaps like a miracle, he will come back out of the skies.